Hi, my name is Syed and I'm from Little Bits. Um, today we're going to be covering uh, the basics of Arduino programming. Um, that's me. You can find me on Twitter. That's my handle. Um, and uh, let's talk about the Arduino. Um, before, we told, uh, before we dive in, uh, I want you to know that there's an accompanying guide that you can check out. Um, it goes a little bit deeper than this uh, screencast. Um, uh, we're just going to cover how to program the, our Arduino and make sure everything is working. So, what does the Arduino let us do? It l lets us learn how to program, it lets us connect our little bits to um, software on our computer, it lets us create games um, as well. Um, think of the Arduino as uh, a brain for our circuits. Um, output is legs and um, arms uh, or a mouth and input is uh, eyes and ears and and the brain takes input does some processing uh, to it and then does output according accordingly so if we see something um, and react to it we'll say something accordingly right okay so this is our module on the left hand side we have input on the right hand side we have output and then in the middle we have a USB port that uh, goes to our computer and uh, then we have the circuit as well. Um, the circuit is powered by a P1 uh, or P3 power. Um, and uh, our USB uh, port goes straight into our computer. You have to be mindful that the USB port and the power have to both be connected and the power has to be on. Um, create your circuit before we do anything else. Okay, so what's the Arduino programming language? It's based off of a, uh, a programming language called C and processing. Processing is uh, a creative coding platform. Um, you can check it out on processing.org. It makes um, doing visual, uh, makes um, visual programming really easy. Um, and let's take a look at where we can download the Arduino software. So if we go over here, you go to arduino.cc, you hit the download tab. Um, you'll see that there's a bunch of platforms. Just download it, uh, download um, the Arduino software for your uh, um, specific platform. Um, you can see the Arduino software is called uh, IDE. That means Integrated Development Environment. I, in, in the accompanying guide, I go into what that means. Uh, but from now on, I'm just going to call the software IDE. Um, so if we go back here, let's take a look at our... Um, let's take a look at the, the, uh, the IDE itself. Um, you could see that it's, um, uh, you have some text, which is code. Um, and then you have a toolbar up here, um, which lets us verify our code, upload our code, uh, create a new program, open a current program, uh, save, and then there's this thing called serial monitor. A serial monitor, um, uh, lets us look at, uh, communication between the computer and the Arduino module. Uh, we're going to do most of our coding here in this text editor. Um, think of it as uh, Word or Google Docs for programming. You'll see it's uh, it's kind of special as highlighted words. Um, just be mindful of that. Um, you also want to take a look at um, uh, this tools uh, menu. Um, it tells us uh, if our board has been detected. Um, uh, our little bits uh, Arduino at heart is based on the Arduino Leonardo. Um, you want to make sure that's checked and you want to make sure that this port is checked um, and you'll see it's corresponding to Arduino Leonardo. The port lets us communicate um, from the Arduino to our computer. Um, and um, if you don't see this, try um, closing out of the software, the IDE, and then um, make sure that your Arduino is turned on and, um, and then restart your Arduino. And sometimes you might have to restart your computer. So um, before we dive into some code, uh, we want to make sure everything is working okay. We hit the upload button and you'll see it's, it's going to take our code, turns, in, turns it into ones and zeros, the IDE does, and um, you'll see an uploading status. Um, once this is all done, um, and you'll see some uh, lights flash as well. Once this is all done, um, we will have our first program on, on our Arduino. 
Now, um, this is pretty great. Now we're having a little bit of issues. It's not, it never stopped uploading. If you see uploading dot, 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 that means uh, something went a little bit awry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect our Arduino and then reconnect it um, and then restart the Arduino software. There's times where um, um, the Arduino needs to be reset before it can be, um, before it can be programmed. Um, okay, let's try this again. It's going to turn our code into ones and zeros. We upload and we're done. Um, so, um, we had to try, um, we had to try twice, but, um, if you ever have issues like this, uh, be sure to use, um, be sure to use our troubleshooting guide. So we've, we've, uh, actually wrote our first program. Um, that's easy, right? That was totally easy. Now let's do something with it. Let's, um, let's write a message. Okay. So, um, we will use serial communication to me communicate between our, um, Arduino and computer. That is the medium um, that the Arduino uses. So let's give it a command, um, which is begin. Uh, think of this as, uh, um, uh, telling the Arduino to open its mouth. Um, this, um, this number tells us, um, or tells the Arduino how fast to communicate with our computer. Um, and then let's jump down here into void loop. Um, You'll see these commands always come up in any Arduino code. Um, setup runs once, like it says right here, um, and loop happens multiple times. Um, so, so if we want to set up our um, uh, set up our communication, uh, we will tell the Arduino to start, and then if we want to keep our communication going, we put it in the loop. So let's, um, let's make our Arduino say something. Um, the command to do that, um, and there's various commands that you need to remember, um, but um, don't fret. Um, you'll get it, you'll, you'll start uh, memorizing these as you use them more often. Um, so we're going to say, hello, little world. And, um, and then we're going to upload this. You'll notice that there's a, a bunch of really funny characters like curly braces and semicolons. Um, be sure to um, include all of this, otherwise your program will break. And I'll show you how, that, uh, how it could break and what to look out for. So um, uh, the Arduino IDE is going to ask us to save our program. And then um, it's going to upload. Again, you'll see some flashing lights, and once it's done uploading, you know that your program is on your Arduino. Now, if you hit your serial monitor to take a look at what the Arduino is saying, you'll see "Hello, little world," and that's it. Um, now, if you want an in-depth guide, um, be sure to check out um, the pro project page or the forums, uh, the corresponding uh, forum post or project page for for this screencast. Um, and as far as, um, uh, as far as errors go, um, when you're typing your code out, um, be sure to look out for semicolons. So let's say if we're missing a semicolon and we try to, um, we try to upload, you're going to get an error and it's going to actually tell you it was expecting a semicolon. So you just have to look, look out for it. Now, our curly braces um, highlighted, but our error is actually up here. Um, um, so you have to kind of look around for your, you have to sleuth around for your errors. Um, and the guide um, right over here, the troubleshooting guide, um, will give you some gifts and uh, some advice on how to fix, um, how to fix your, um, your programming errors. Um, so syntax errors and as well as uploading errors. And that's it. Um, thanks for listening and um, I'll see you all again soon.